welcome to my site. Anyway, today we're going to talk about um, my gun, which is a Power Ordnance P40 and 45. It's a 45 ACP. Uh, this is my daily carry. <clears throat> also included in my daily carry is this knife that I want to show you guys. Uh, it's um, M-Tech USA Extreme. As you can see there. Okay. That's good. Uh, knife, I love it. Anyway, uh, okay. So this is my uh, gun bag. You can see. Okay. So I'm gonna open it up. <coughs> so this is my para um, P1445. Um, this is my Kydex holster. <coughs> Excuse me. And I always carry. This extra mag, uh, which is made from Megcar, uh, it's made in Italy. Uh, this extra mag that I have, I put like um, 14 rounds of Federal uh, Hydro Shock. See, it's good ammo. Okay, and then. This is my gun right here. Just put this aside. Okay. This is the Para P1445. Okay. Uh, I had this uh, gun submitted by Mitrilio Gun Corp. And this is uh, the finish is um, Cerakote Block. It's an armory black Cerakoted. And the parts you can see, uh, Zeracode as well by Titanium. Okay. And I also have a EGW uh, guide rod that I have installed recently. It's really nice. Uh, it's The guide rod is thicker than any guide rods that you can buy out there. It's really nice. Um, the bad thing about this uh, guide rod is uh, you can't disassemble this uh, by pushing it back. You have to take out the slide and everything and tilt the guide rod so that you can turn your barrel bushing and open it up. Okay, first I'm going to conduct a safety gun check. So I'm going to take out the magazine. Okay. Uh, I carry uh, this FMJ bullets, uh, this 14 round FMJ bullets, uh, because I always carry it inside my car. So, FMJ bullets can go through any automobiles. <coughs> so, I carry it. I put on the extra mag if I'm walking outside, but when I'm in the car, put this FMJ bullets. Okay, so see the gun check. Okay. As you can see there's no round inside. Okay. It's all good. Anyway, okay, this is my P1445 uh, power ordnance. Uh, okay. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I had it cherry coated with armor black and the beaver tail. Uh, the slide release and the safety. I had it like uh, shard coated titanium color, uh, the mag release as well, and the uh, hex screw, Allen screw, what they call it. <coughs> I also installed this Caspian Novak adjustable sight. As you can see, it's a Novak sight, but you can just adjust it. The the windage and also the elevation of the sight. And I also got the fiber optic front sight and the magwell. Uh, this is a uh, custom uh, magwell and custom uh, fiber optic sight by Mitrilio. Um, and I also had a uh, SDI trigger uh, fitted for my para. And uh, what else? Uh, 
I fired like a um, thousand rounds on this gun already. I've been practicing a lot in the range and it's really good. I love this gun. I used to have a six sower 9mm P250 and a Taurus 24-7 Pro 40 caliber. Um, not bad. They're all good guns, but um, I prefer this 1911. It looks good. It looks masculine. In my opinion, of course. I mean, uh, a lot of guys out there like Glocks, like uh, like those uh, polymer guns. But in my opinion, I love the 1911. Um, and. Uh, it's really nice. Um, this is a high cap capacity, so this is quite heavy, especially with the magazine is inside, is inserted. It's quite heavy. Um, sometimes I put it in my waist. I have like a, a waistband a holster. As you can see, a while ago, as you can see. Uh, this is my waistband holster. It's a Kydex. Okay, one thing why I bought this one, this kind of um, holster is because uh, before I used a Black Hawk uh, ordinary holster, and my and my front um, my front side gets caught up in the holster and. The holster actually basically gets damaged, so I bought this one. Okay, Let's just insert it, and there you go. You put it inside the waistband. I'm a right-handed. Okay, actually, just like a one, uh, like this piece hanging, but I have a trouble, like you know, putting it inside my belt. Uh, so I took it out. Uh, for me, it's my uh, I want it that way. I just one clip is enough for me. So, yeah, it's really nice. <clears throat> so, this is uh, the para that is still made in Canada. Um, in my opinion, I love the paras that are made by Canada because uh, the ones that is made in the US like they have like the power extractors it's well a lot of my friends has one but it's not that durable as the old one because this that is like a two piece uh, extractor so sometimes when you get a lot of rounds on their gun it will break um, in my opinion and some of my friends who has the USA para, um, uh, their extract, their place, their extractors already. But mine, I haven't replaced it yet, and still uh, in good condition. Yeah. So yeah, you can see. Yeah, I like. Oh yeah. And by the way, I have the top. Serrations, I made a gunsmith, so my slide will be lighter, and at the same time, can sleep. I can see the front sight well. Um, I love this gun; I really love it, and uh, um, it's nice. I'm a big guy, so I don't mind uh, carrying or having a high cap gun. Uh, but like I said, it depends on your, um, depends on what firearm suits you more. For me, this one's nice. Um, I like the single stacks as well, but uh, based on practicality wise, in my opinion, again, I just want to clear that up. Um, I just carry like two rounds, two magazines with me and that is like um, 14 rounds in each magazine 
so equivalent of 28 rounds because this is a high cap if I carry a single stack in order for me to achieve 28 rounds I need to carry 3 magazines 2 power 10 McCormick magazines and 1 8 rounder magazine so I prefer this uh, kind of 1911 a lot of people out there likes the Glock uh, Glocks are nice uh, but I like all steel uh, it's just me I'm not being biased here or what or saying Glocks or those polymer guns are not good but they're all good guns but I prefer the 1911 so here's my gun Here's my power ordinance P1445-45 ACP. Thanks for watching and stay tuned. And please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.